Hello everybody, I'm Stefan from the Contentful Developer Relations team and we just shipped some pretty cool new stuff to the web app and I thought, well, maybe you want to see it. So let's have a quick look. So what you see here is the, uh, the space that powers my private website and what I do on my private website is that I um, document learnings that I have while reading stuff and developing stuff. And these posts are called Today I learned posts. So let's have just have a quick look. So what we see here now are all the today I learned posts I had. So how could I now use the new search? So first of all, let's check how I could figure out how many pending or draft um, articles do we have in here. So what I can just do is I can type status, cool, and now I can use only the keyword and I can check the draft state. And as you see here now, I only have one draft currently uh, in the pipeline, which is git apply. Uh, I learned about that a few days ago and I hopefully will publish it soon. So the thing now is that I don't want to um, put in this query or this search all the time by hand. So what I can now do is I can save this as a view. So let's just go with today I learned and draft here. And here you see two options. So this is uh, my views will be only accessible for myself. And if you're an admin, which I am in this space, you can also choose shared views, which means that you can share certain searches with all the users of the space. As it's only me working on this space, I'm totally fine with uh, my views. So let's save that one. And as you see now here, I can quickly access the articles that are pending and will be written, hopefully, at some point. But let's do something else here. So let's maybe figure out um, what JavaScript articles I have been writing or I've written. So I can just choose categories and then is JavaScript. So let's also save that JavaScript. And I also like to write about accessibility. Accessibility, there we go. Then we've got another one. So What is cool though, on the left side, you see when you have a lot of searches, this can become a little bit messy. So what you can also do is you can add folders. So let's just say here, to, um, today I learned, and then maybe topics. All right, cool. Now I can move that stuff into the topics area so that I have a nicer grouping of this whole thing. So that's pretty cool because this way I have all the information right at my fingertips and I don't have to use the new search for functionality all the time. And the last thing I want to show you is that we finally are able to search for references in, in the search field. So um, I write all these today alone posts, but what I also do is then I aggregate all these or I collect all these information and I publish something that is called this month I learned. So and this is now a, a different uh, content type and it includes uh, references to other content types. So what is now possible in the web app is that you can just say um, today I learned posts that are included in this, uh, in this entry. And now I can just click or hit enter. And when I want to figure out what entries reference, for example, this post here, I can just um, click it and this way I can figure out that this was published in May and June. I think this is really, really powerful. If you want to learn more, um, there are several po blog posts out there. So there's this one, a content search. There's a lot of information on how to use the search really productively. And here we've got another article for searching on references. And if you're interested in uh, to see what changes happened to the to the web app or the APIs, here we've got the change log. I will link all these entries below in the description of the video. And yeah, that's it. See you next time.